Hi everyone, it's Tom from Roller Snakes and today I'm going to show you how to make a curb grindable. But firstly, you're going to need a few things. A rub brick. These can be picked up from any hardware shops or online. A soft bristle brush. A can of spray lacquer. We recommend the high coat stuff. A good quality wax. Small tea light candles can make your curb go a little sticky. And last of all, a skateboard. Let's get started. Right, location is key. Don't wax a curb that's near a busy road or an operating business because you're going to be an irritation and nobody wants that. The best curbs you'll find in industrial estates and car parks, but they're best prepped and skated after hours. Newer curbs are less porous. They're going to skate a lot easier. Older curbs look like they're made of gravel and are not going to skate as well. So try and find something a little bit like this. Remember, don't be a nuisance or a safety risk to you or others. Once you've selected your curb, you want to give it a good old rub down with a brick rub. British curbs have a lip on the top, which you're going to need to smooth out as much as possible. You also want to sweep the curb and the area once this is done, so always have a brush handy. Once you've had a good sweep down, you're going to want to give it another rub. Don't cut corners, this stage is vital. You want to give the curb a good layer of lacquer. We're using this high coat. Remember to shake it thoroughly. That'll do. The more coats of lacquer you can do, the better. Normally two to three will be enough, and make sure you leave it at least 24 hours to dry. You don't want to rush it. It's going to be worth it, trust me. When you're sure it's dry and hardened, it's time to give it a good coat of proper wax. And make sure you don't forget to do the top and the underside for nose and tail slides as well, obviously. And once it's all done, get your mates over for a skate. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. <laughs>